Good morning, guys. It is February 5th, 2016, and welcome to the morning drive, where I basically drive to work and answer questions on the way there. So, without further ado, let's get started. First question I have here is from, hang on a second, there's a person walking, and I don't want to hit them. See? Sound in the background there. Didn't want to hit that person. Anyway, uh, it's from Marcelo. Hey, congratulations on your premiere last night. Thank you. Uh, I would be a servitor. Never kick a toaster in the grim dark future. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, the whole server thing is I asked people to tell me what they would be if they were a miniature of some kind. So a servitor would definitely make sense. And yeah, thank you so much for the, uh, the congratulations there. The premiere was awesome last night. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we did a Q&A at the end there and Matt had actually asked me to tell the story about how Dave hurt his knee. It was funny. It was very funny. I got I got some joy I got some joy out of it. Um, everybody seemed to laugh, and Dave turned a little red from embarrassment. So it was fun. Uh, next up, I have another one from uh, Holy Oni Link. Uh, uh, also, after a ooh, also after a few cupcake challenges, maybe you will do better. And my oh my model it is Tiberius the Red. Ooh. Okay. And my, uh, ugh, and my model is Tiberius the Red uh, Wake because he was the first model I did. Cool. That's awesome. I can't remember which one Tiberius. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember now. It takes me a minute. Oh, I'm still sick. I'm still very sick. I'm coughing up like my lung. Matt actually sent everybody home yesterday because we were all so sick. Mm-hmm. It was pretty bad. Um, we all went to the premiere and we all had like... Benadryl and Buckley's and all the stuff in our coats so we're like sitting there and people are drinking their cokes and we're like uh cough syrup we weren't even measuring the portions we were just drinking it right out of the bottle so anyway next question I have is from CJ Phoenix as a fellow Mohawker I get my share of silly comments what is the stupidest comment you've received just because you've, you're Mo? Also, in response to your question, I would be an orc mech as I like random things from junk. Oh, I like to make random things from junk and have a habit of working well right up until the point where they epically fail. Cool. Um, yeah, I get some really dumb comments. Uh, my like, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I can give you my top three. First one is, how long does it take to do that in the morning? Really? Like, it doesn't. It's it's hair. It's a very small portion of hair. I go like this, and it's done. Another one is, um, doesn't your head get cold? Um, to which I respond with, yeah, except for right here. So they, that one, that one's pretty bad. Um, the one that's probably, probably the worst one is, what tribe are you from? That one, that one threw me off. I was like, what? Really? They're like, yeah, you got the Mohawk, right? You're like an Indian. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, don't, don't say that around people. So. It's pretty bad. I'm trying really hard not to cough, so if I go quiet for a second, that's me like suppressing a cough. Mr. Bike. That is this guy's license plate. I would flip the camera around to show you, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But it is Mr. Bike. That's that's special. Okay. It kind of sucks. I don't have a little button on here that lets me flip the camera around to show you guys what I'm looking at. So I pretty much just kind of have to like tell you. A little bummed out about that. It'd be cool if I had like a little button where I was just like, oh, check out what I'm looking at. Beep. And it just like switches the camera over. But, oh well. Next one I have. <coughs> oh, here he comes. <coughs> Ow. Once they start, they just don't want to stop. Uh, let me get on the highway first, actually. And I'm just incredibly piss off this car behind me. Yeah, that's right, I'll downshift when I'm going on the highway. And, oh, 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 okay. Well, they drive a Mercedes, so they're, they're allowed to use that hand gesture at me. Anyway. Oh. You guys might catch some road rage in a minute. Yep, that, that was the bird. 
Okay. Alright. So, next comment is from Cody Asher. Any chance of seeing a green tide? Maybe a with a bully boys or a blitz brigade battle report versus a hunter contingent or whoop. Desecr oh. I can't read that one. Um, also, is the reroll dead? Uh, as for the green tide, yeah, probably. The problem with the green tide is that it takes like almost two days to film anything with the green tide just because it's so many models to move. Like, you guys normally don't see it in the battle report because it'll all like we'll turn off the camera and then move the rest of the models um, and get them in their final position. So it looks like we're just like, okay, we're just gonna move these, we're gonna stop the camera so that we can use both hands to move them. But then it's like we turn the camera off, we do the measurements to make sure everything's accurate, we put it where it's supposed to be, and then we pick the camera back up and go from there. That process can take anywhere from like 15 seconds to 10 minutes. Um, and then when you have the green tide, it just suddenly is so much more. Because I usually, usually the la or like the last time I did it with the green tide, I actually got my opponent to help me. And he and I were both moving up the models to try and speed it up, and that's the only reason I was able to get it done in a day. But that was one battle report in a day, and that was back when we were supposed to do two. So I was, I was not, uh, proud of myself with that one but yeah I could definitely try it's just again it takes a long long time to film those because it's just so many models um, also for the reroll it's not dead uh, we're just having a very very difficult time right now finding somewhere in our schedule to actually do it um, the main reason that we're having a hard time with that is because literally for the past two weeks and for the next two weeks we are booked every single day between Steve and myself um, to the point where we at no point we at no point have an opening long enough to film the reroll because there's certain points where like we'll try and stay afterwards and get everything like sorted but we've already we won't have any studios or any space to actually film it because we've already set up all the tables for the next game like the next day's game so it's very very difficult to actually find the time to film it um, but no it is definitely not dead we are just looking for some time to actually fit that into the schedule in between all the battle reports because we have been getting a ton ton of guests coming in so, so yeah, that's all um, I can actually hmm, I'm gonna ponder something for a little bit and I'll keep answering questions but as I'm answering the questions I'm gonna ponder this in my head for a little bit more and we'll uh, I'll, I'll come back to you I might have a solution for that next up uh, Brad Davidson I was actually referring to your Futurama comment oh okay that makes sense. Uh, and the one episode, the with the dog. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, you were just upset because I was talking about the Futurama episode where Fry has a dog and he's like, oh, he lived a lot of, a wonderful life. And you see the dog and it's like, no, it, it spent 13 years waiting for you. Yeah, that was a sad episode. That explains why you're telling me to shut up. Uh, can you give us a good rundown of a day in the life of work? We know how your morning starts, and we know how your open vault shenanigans, but is, was there a bit in between that we're missing? As far as the mini representing me, it wouldn't be which one as long as it was well painted. Oh, okay, that's fair. The average day for me, I can run it down for you. Um, I wake up, I get dressed, I do all that stuff, I print off the comments from the video from before, and I start my morning drive, which you're watching right now. Then I get to work, I start the upload from my phone so that it uploads to my YouTube account. So what this actually does is program my phone. It'll actually try and stabilize the camera a little bit. So if I didn't run the program, this, oh, I broke it. There we go. This would be much worse. Um, so that's, I, I then do that and I let that upload. While that's uploading, I'll check my schedule and see what I'm doing for the day. And it can be anything from I'm filming a battle report to it's a painting day to we're doing a review to life of a war gamer filming, anything like that. It could be a whole plethora of different things, but depending on what it is, we kind of get set up for that. Um, the most common one would be a battle report. So I'll let this start uploading, and I'll check and see if my guest is here. He's usually not here until about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, so it gives me a bit of time to actually go to uh, the Avondale next door, and I grab myself some breakfast. So I'll grab like a Rice Krispie Square and an energy drink. So I go back, I finish my Rice Krispie Square, um, by then my guest has usually shown up. I discuss with my guest for a little while what, what it is we're going to be playing, what we're going to be doing, um, figure out like a point, point limit and stuff like that, figure out uh, like basically what's going on. And with uh, 40k it goes basically, what are you playing? Oh, I'm playing this very fluffy list. Okay, then I'll play 
my fluffy list. Oh, what are you bringing? Oh, I'm bringing my like tournament list. Okay, I'll bring my tournament list. I don't really have one, so it's basically just I'm gonna bring this list that I know how to use really well and hope I don't die. Yay! So, um, then once we get that all figured out, I go to Army Builder, I build my list, I print it off, we set up the terrain for the table. If there needs to be any adjustments made to the table from the, that I set up from the day before, we do that. Um, mainly the reason for that would be if there's a, if my opponent has a lot of tanks and I've already filled the board with terrain where tanks can't move, then we adjust it because obviously that's not very fair, but we'll do stuff like that. Um, set the armies up, get the cameras out, and start filming, and then from there you'll uh, you actually see what happens because the end result is a battle report. So it starts off with the intro, then we show off the armies, then we go into the uh, like what games are we playing, deployment, and then go straight into the game. And then at the end we have our post game. In between there, some at some point there's a lunch where uh, Justin will actually come in and ask our, uh, my guest what they want for lunch, and he goes around and asks everybody's guests. Um, we have lunch, and then we go and finish the battle report. Once that's done, um, I take the camera, we throw on the computer, um, I put it into the scheduler, so I have to basically say who it was, who was playing, put in a description for the video so that when it goes up, it's the same description that you guys see on the website. So if there's a spelling mistake, it usually started with either myself or Steve or Dave or Matt, because that's usually when the spelling mistakes start. So, yeah, I don't know how to spell Psyche. I thought I did, I don't. So, uh, it'll go there, Rob will start editing it, and by that point, if there's still a little bit of time left in the day, we'll converse with our guests, we'll help them, like, we'll wait till they're done packing up, they come into the back office with us, we visit, we chit-chat, we talk about the hobby, we do, we, we basically just talk for a little while. Um, then by about 5 o'clock, usually, the, that's when the guests will be like, okay, well, I'm going to head out, thanks so much, you guys. We give them their swag bag, and they head out. Then I'll usually stay at the office for, like, another hour or two. During that time, I'm either harassing Steve, or I'll play a video game on my laptop. That's that, If I do that, I'm off the clock and I don't really care. It's not really part of my day. Um, or I'll try and catch up on some painting. Recently, it's been Alpha Legion stuff, so it's just getting them painted. Uh, I'm having a really hard time motivating myself to get those painted, though, just because it's so... I have a pile of them, and they're all in different stages where they need to be, and it's just like, uh, I need to get you all up to the same level and then just, like, factory line you. And again, that goes back to finding the time to be able to do it. But yeah, that's the, and after that I go home, um, I'll have some dinner or something like that, watch Netflix for a little while, play some video games, and then I pass out, and then rinse and repeat for the next day. Um, sometimes I'll go out with uh, some friends after work, but if anything, it's usually like Steve and Josh and people like that, and we go to a, uh, um, a restaurant down the street and just check, hang out and chit chat. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the day in the life of the clerk. That, that has been pretty much what I've been doing for the past six months so ah uh, bright player there we go yeah that's what i've been doing for about six months now so yeah thank you mr davidson that was a very interesting question and another one from uh holy only link uh back a bit ago did you did a readable episode where steve and you talked about tabling him turn one can i get a link to that mainly steve and you uh that mainly steve and you get reactions on the videos and yes i'm a vault member i couldn't i just couldn't find it uh, yeah, I can definitely do that for you. Um, to be honest, it's actually one of the uh, early Age of Sigmar matches. If it shows a timeline or anything like that on the video for you, it would be eight minutes long. Because it is a eight minute battle report. Five minutes of it are us talking about our armies. It, I literally just beat him super fast. Um, I will definitely do what I can to find the link for you, and I will send that to you. I can definitely do that. Xbox, 
there's no way for me to actually pick up my teammates in chat. So it's kind of a bummer because basically one of two things will happen. Either yes, you'll be able to hear my teammates, but you won't be able to hear me, or you'll be able to hear me and not my teammates. There's no happy medium where you can actually get both. And that really, really bummed me out. So regardless, I re-recorded I, I, I re it. Yesterday when I went home, I was sick. I was like, ah, oh, I, I can spare a few minutes before I go to sleep and, and record this. So you guys actually, if you watch it, you get to see a little more, like a little tiny, itty bitty part of my uh, my living room. Because I totally turned on the connect camera when I was recording stuff. I was like, yeah, you guys get to see me in all my sick glory. So, but I was able to uh, record that again. I'm gonna say hello again, just because I, I did say I was gonna do Halo next time. Um, and in that video, I do ask that you guys let me know what, what if any game you wanna see me try and play. Um, I'll ask you guys the same thing. Leave a comment below if there's a specific like game you want to see me try and struggle through. Because yeah, that'd be good. Also, good. I really like the uh, the server answer for what model would represent you. That was really good. Anyway, I feel like I should tell you guys a story about how Dave hurt his knee on set because it's amazing. And try not to cough my way through it. So this is the same story that I told at the Q&A for the premiere yesterday. And basically, it starts out with, there's a scene where Steve's character, Head Ripper, has got Drewston, Dave's character, by the throat, pinned up against a tree. So he's actually lifted him up off his feet, and he's holding him up against this tree. And what was going on was basically, Dave was trying to make it look like he was being choked. So he's holding his breath, and he's pushing the blood up to his face, so his face is turning red, but he's also not breathing. And so Steve's holding him, and he's got a pretty good grip on, uh, around Dave's neck, and Dave's just like full on just doing this thing where he's holding his breath and forcing blood. And this took about four or five takes to actually get. Well, take one, Dave's doing it. Yeah, he's fine. Take two, he's doing it, but he's looking a little wheezy. Take three, okay, Dave's actually looking more pale now than red. Uh, take four, Steve's holding him up, and you just see Dave slowly just uh, and down. Steve goes, oh, whoa, he's actually put like all his weight on me. What's going on? Like, and then just slowly holding him and dropped him. So he just fell. Uh, all the cameras were rolling. No one said cut. So we're all just standing there. That's just quiet. We're like, okay, Dave, Dave is not moving at all. And we're like, oh. So finally Rob goes, uh, cut, Dave. And we're like, D Dave. Okay, good job, Dave. Seriously, that's, we get it. You're, you're still acting. Okay, get up. Dave. So yeah, he basically, from holding his breath and rushing the blood up to his face, managed to make himself pass out. The thing is, when he made himself pass out, he was up about four feet, and Steve was only holding him up there by like his neck. It was it was totally safe. We were actually very good, like careful about it. It's just that we can't support the weight like of a limp body. So Dave just went completely out, hit the ground, was done. We were worried. We're like, Dave, Dave, are you okay? Oh, we killed Dave. Suddenly he wakes up, he's like, oh. Looks at all of us, he's like, what are you guys doing here? I'm like, um, what do you mean? He's like, I was, I was, I was sleeping. What are you guys doing here? We're like, no, he, he, we think you just passed out. We're filming, like, your movie. What's, what's up? And he's like, oh. I thought I was asleep. I'm like, great. <laughs> he's giving himself a concussion. Like, we were like, oh, no. So he gets up, he looks at everybody, and he's just like, what? What happened? Apparently, you managed to make yourself pass out. And Steve was super worried that he did it. He was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? I didn't do it, did I? Did I? Like, he was super paranoid that he made Dave pass out. And we're all getting a good laugh out of it. Everything's hilarious. And it ended up, like, halting filming for a good five minutes, because once Dave, we found out Dave was okay, we couldn't stop laughing. We just, we could not stop laughing at him. We're like, we can't believe you just made yourself pass out. Okay, we need to take a five minute break. You need to drink some water, but wow, you, you made yourself pass out. That, you're a champ. That's amazing. So, yeah, that was good fun. Anyway, I am officially at work. It is uh, Friday, so hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see y'all on Monday.